Hey guys, and welcome to Legend of Heroes, Chosen Sky. I started playing this game a while back, but I never really got into it. And I thought maybe doing a let's play will help me start back up and play it again. So let's get it started. Start from the beginning so it's easier for me to remember. <laughs> Hmm. Daddy's really late. I even got a message from the guild saying he'd be home today, too. And Shara's gone, traveling around the kingdom on some kind of training. I'm so bored. Maybe I'll just practice with my staff a bit more before dinner. Hey, I'm home. Daddy. Sorry to kept you waiting, Estelle. Did you say you could care of the house while I was away? Of course I did. Did you run into any trouble, Daddy? Didn't get hurt fighting the bad monsters, did you? Nope. I'm as fit as a fiddle. That reminds me, though. I brought you a present. Really? What kind of present? A new fishing pole? Sneakers? Something for my training? Maybe I raised you wrong, Estelle. Aren't little girls supposed to like clothes and jewelry? I like pretty clothes. But they just get dirty. And jewelry breaks when you go play outside with it on. Anyway, Daddy. What's with the big blanket? Is that my present? Oh, you're a sharp one. Now why don't you come have a look? What? Well, here you are. Quite a handsome boy, don't you think? Wha wha wha? Why is my present a boy? Don't make such a fuss, or you'll wake him up. Wake him up? You mean he's still alive? He's kinda dead if you ask me. I've treated his wounds, so he should be in stable condition. In the meantime, however, we'll need to let him rest. I'll put him to bed, so if you wouldn't mind keeping a kettle of water on the stove, I'd appreciate it. Okay. He sure sleeps soundly. And he almost looked the same age as me. This is the first time I've ever seen black hair like that, too. He certainly does have a nice head of dark hair. And a pair of amber eyes to go with it. Hmm. That's nice and all. But how about you come clean and fess up? Fess up? Yeah, who is this kid anyway? And why is he hurt? Why don't you bring him to our house? Is he an illegitimate child or something? Did you betray mom? Where are you picking up on these kinds of words? No doubt from... Ch Charizard? Ch Charizard? I assume. Yep, that's right. Oh, for heaven's sake, that girl is going to get me in trouble one of these days with all her nonsense. Actually, I just met this boy while I was on business. And I don't even know his name. You mean Bracer Business? Something like that. Oh, look. Huh? He's waking up. Hmm. Wow, his eyes are really the color of amber. Where am I? So you're awake now, are you? Welcome to my humble home. You'll be safe here, so please, just try to rest. What are you trying to pull? Huh? You must be out of your mind. Why? Why didn't you just leave me there to die? Now, that's a question I don't know how to answer. Does things just worked out that way work for you? Don't toy with me, Cassius Sprite. Do you have any idea what you're getting yourself involved in? Hey. You're sure shouting a lot of for someone who's supposed to be hurt. Hurting your mouth like that is just going to make it longer for your body to heal. Just who are you supposed to be? I'm Estelle. Estelle Bright. She's my daughter. Don't you remember me telling you that I have a daughter your age? Now that you mention it. Wait a minute, don't try to change the sub... Ow. Quit yelling. Alright, alright already. But you jumping on me like that isn't going to make me heal any faster either. I don't hear you yelling again, do I? Look, jumping on me like that is just going to make things worse. 
do I hear yelling? Never mind, just forget it. As a word of advice, it would be wise not to argue with Estelle while you're in the house. Even I couldn't stand a chance if I ever made her mad enough. Yeah, I can see that. By the way, aren't you forgetting something? Huh? Your name, you know, that thing that people call you? I told you mine already, so you don't think it would be unfair and impolite not to tell me yours. Um, seems like the logical thing to do if you ask me. Trying to hide it now would only serve to your determinant. Fine. My name is... By the way, this game is really old. Okay. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, it's so bright in here. <sighs> oh, crap, that makes me yawning. <sighs> I slept like a rock. Dwayne the Rock. Hmm, that must mean Dad's turn to cook this morning. I wonder if that means Joshua's still in bed. 
I guess that's a no. Well, I guess I'd better go get myself ready then, too. Nice, Joshua. Bravo. Good morning, Estelle. Hope I didn't wake you. Nah, I was already up when I heard you start playing. Oh, Christ, that's large. I can't believe you're awake now, though, even though your rooster's bag's under ice. Not that I mind. What with that siren song of yours gently lulling this beautiful woman from her slumber? What do you mean, woman? the same age and I'm hardly a man. Tsk tsk tsk. How wrong you are, Joshua. We may be the same age, but I am clearly the woman of the house. And that makes you something like my loyal follower, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, yeah, how fortunate for you. You can at least try and sound a tiny bit sincere. It really is a nice tune, though. Cheerful, yet somehow wistful. I like your other songs too, of course, but this one's my favorite. Uh, what's it called again? The Whereabouts of Light. That's right, The Whereabouts of Light. I wish I could play the harmonica like you, Joshua. Sadly, it's a lot harder than it looks. Compared to what it takes to use a staff, I think the harmonica is much easier. It's really just a matter of concentration. You're probably right. I guess my problem is just that I don't do something that uses my whole body. I start to feel drowsy. Okay, playing the harmonica is fine and all, but... How about getting some exercise, too? All your hobbies are sitting around some kind of stuff like reading and music. No girl's gonna be impressed with just that. Excuse me for being so unpopular with the ladies. Although, I feel like I should be the one lecturing you about ho your hobbies. I mean, what kind of boy wants a girl who loves fishing, collecting bugs, and has a fetish for sports shoes? Uh, that's enough about my hobbies for now. And for your information, I graduated from bug collecting a long time ago. Really? I'll believe that when I stop finding beetles in the hallway. Hey, Estelle, Joshua. Morning, Dad. Good morning, Dad. Is breakfast ready? It's ready and waiting. Why don't the both of you hurry down before it gets cold? Okay, I'm on my way. Thanks for the grub, Dad. Boy, am I stuffed. Are you eating or inhaling, Estelle? Hmm. Like people say, kids who sleep and a lot grow a lot. Well, make sure you get out to eat, but don't forget to pour that energy into your work, too. That reminds me, you two finishing up your training at the guild today, aren't you? That's right. It'll be a review of everything we've learned up to this point. And once we're finished, we'll be bracers just like you, Dad. That means I'm not going to let you treat me like a kid anymore, either. You still like understanding Estelle. You only become a junior bracer in the beginning, in other words, a trainee. If you want to be treated like an adult, then you should work extra hard in your training to become a full-fledged bracer. Well, I'm not a full well, I'm not afraid of little hard work. Just you watch and see what I'm capable of, Dad. I'll be so successful that it won't be long before I pass you too. That's the spirit. Let's see what you made of then, shall we? Let's not start a rival here, you two. And still keep your focus on the task at hand. We'll have a test later on today, remember? Huh? Wait, what test? Please tell me that you didn't forget about the test, Estelle. You know, the one that checks whether or not we've mastered the skills we've been learning and training. Don't you remember Shara? Shara. Saying that if we failed, we'd be stuck with a ton of extra homework? Crap, I totally forgot. That you mentioned, I guess it's kind of that I remember her saying something like that. Don't sweat it. I'm sure we'll manage somehow or another. I honestly don't know how you survived this long, Still, Your brain is like a sieve. Papa is sad. How could any child of mine end up with such a careless, over-optimistic personality? Ha! You're the one that raised me, so I definitely got it from you. I swear, the two of you act so much alike, but whatever. We should probably head over to the guild soon, Estelle. 
Cher is going to be waiting there for us. Sounds like a plan. You know how crazy scary she gets when someone keeps her waiting. Oh, before I forget, it's my turn to cook dinner tonight. Is there anything in particular you want to eat, Dad? Any requests? Hmm, something I'd like to eat. How about ruined style scalloped fish in a balsamic vinegar sauce? What's that? I think that's a little more than a stoic cooking skills can handle, or our stomachs. You're right. I just want to see what kind of reaction I could get. I just had the usual fried fish and omelet. No need for anything fancy, but do try to make something edible. How rude. But I can actually say he's wrong. Actually, I do have one favor to ask you before you head out. I'd like you to pick me up a copy of Liberal News. Liberal? Liberal? Liberal. Liberal. From the general goods store. They're supposed to be getting the latest edition in today. Got it, one copy of Liberal. News from the general goods store. Seat 500 Mira. If, anything, money, if there's any money left over, you can have it as your allowance. However, that means no wasteful spending. Alright, thanks, Dad. Okay, we're heading out now. See you later, Dad. Work hard and give Ch Ch Charizard my regards. Okay, how do I... How do I ooh, sensitive. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, how do I save this game? Uh, save? Sure. Okay, guys. It's gonna be the first episode. So, I hope this... This game actually kind of turns out pretty good. Maybe pretty long since it's a an old JRPG, but... I think it'll turn out well. So thanks for watching. Have a good one!